What's going on guys, welcome back to my personal channel, welcome back to another Transfer Daily video for you guys today. In this video we're going to be talking about Ben Chilwell and the movements in the Ben Chilwell transfer saga. We're also going to be talking about Lewis Dunk and how that potential deal has completely gone off the table in the last 24 hours. And we're going to round things off by talking about Thiago Silva and growing interest in bringing the 35 year old to Chelsea. But before I start this video, you already know what time it is. It's the time of the video, I say. If you haven't done so already, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and press that bell notification button as well. Get that hat trick of buttons to press just for my benefit and to be the first guy to know whenever I release any new content on this channel. Now, let's go straight into the transfer daily news for you guys today. It's probably going to be a relatively short story. But all we're going to be talking about is developments on transfers. There isn't going to be anything new that's coming out. First, we're going to be talking about is Ben Chilwell. This is the biggest development so far, and he's completed medical checks upon a rumored transfer that looks like it's going to be happening in the next couple days. Now, it was a 60 to 80 million fee that we were expecting for Ben Chilwell, and that was the main thing that was like pushing a lot of fans away from this transfer because. I've been saying it time and time again, Ben Chilwell is not a bad defender and a lot of fans are completely rinsing his name simply because of the price tag. But now, Marina's even managed to do madness on the Ben Chilwell transfer. She's managed to lower it to a fee close to the 45 to 50 million region and that sort of fee, I'll take him. No, hands down, I'll take him. Even compared to someone like Tagliafico, who's a cheaper option and a much better defensive option, Chua has much more years in him he, and he's 23 years old. 23 years old, I will take that. Uh, Tagliafico is great defensively going forward, not so sure. And I know when it comes to Ben Chilwell, people usually say it the other way around, that he's better going forward than he is defensively. But there's still much more years for him to grow. And he's quick as well. The first thing I'll say with left back is... I've been here trying to be as analytical about all the all the left backs that we've been interested in from Grimaldo to Tellez to Ben Chilwell to Tagliafico but really and truly I will just take any left back. Our left backs have been so poor over the last two seasons that I'm really not going to nitpick whatever left back we get. I just want it to be a good deal for Chelsea and something decent long term and Ben Chilwell ticks both of those boxes. He's good going forward, he's very quick. On the turn, maybe a bit jarring, I get it. He does get caught out of position a couple times. So I'll be real, in those fullback positions, it is very hard not to get caught out of position. It's just about how you can recover quickly enough. And he has got the legs to recover back quickly. He's good air, really. I think that's one of his key parts of his game. He loves those underlapping runs into the box as well. And he's going to ca cause a variety of problems for opposition players going forward and back. So this is going to be a good chance for us in the long term. So for 45 to 50 million, seriously, make the statue for Marina already because she's done a madness over the last year or two. Now Chilwell has been recovering from a heel injury over the last month or so and he missed the last five games of Leicester's season. At Chelsea have been keeping close tabs on Chilwell's recovery and have also sent their own doctors to check on the situation as well and to analyse how he's improving. That could be another reason for why the transfer fee has been lowered as well. I think the other reason for that as well would be Leicester City failing to make the Champions League. Both of those combined factors and Marina and the negotiation table as well has probably gone a long way to lowering that transfer fee. So again, shout out Marina for doing that again because for 60 to 80 million, it looked like we were getting bent over by Leicester again. It was looking like the Harry Maguire deal or something like that where you put too much money and too much pressure on the guy's head and the guy is being nitpicked very every single mistake. Hopefully a shorter price tag will calm down a lot more people on Ben Chilwell and hopefully get him a bit more appreciation because he is a good left back and straight up he is going to fix our left back issue compared to the left back that's, uh, compared to the left backs that we have right now. Chilwell will be out for another few weeks though with this heel injury and it does look like he'll be a doubt for our opening game against Brighton which will be a little bit of an issue if, it, if this transfer goes through but short-term issues if we get him through the door so what if we have to play Marcus Alonso one of the games 
it is what it is. In the meantime, Frank Lampard will be focusing on trying to make room for Ben Chilwell. And we know what Matt Law's report said a few weeks ago. We have to be we have to get rid of one player in one position in order to bring in another player in that same position. Emerson, like we've said for a while now, looks like the player that's going to be leaving. He's been close with talks with Juventus and Inter Milan, and it looks like Inter Milan is gonna is gonna be the club that he joins. I've said with Emerson, he had a good first month of the season this season at Chelsea, but bar that he's never really impressed at the club, he's never really looked solid. He started a couple games towards the back end of the 18-19 season, but that was only because Alonso was playing that much worse that Emerson just got upgraded anyway. Both of them weren't really the answer to our questions and we knew that for a while now. So it's just good to see Emerson off and we'll see if we can recoup wherever we can recoup for him. But 45 to 50 million for Ben Chilwell is great news for me. Moving on to the second piece of news, Lewis Dunk. Now, there's been a lot of rumours over Chelsea's interest in Lewis Dunk over the last week or so. And we know Lewis Dunk is a Chelsea fan and a very underrated Premier League centre-back. But that deal is completely off the table. If you guys saw the live stream with me and Ian yesterday, the five-year deal that Brighton had just signed him up for literally got announced while we were live. And we were sitting there doing this big Lewis Dunk versus Thiago Silva debate over what would be better for us long term. And then out of nowhere, he just signs a five-year deal and just throws our entire convo into the mud. So, Lewis Dunk to Chelsea is not happening now. Lewis Dunk has committed his future to Brighton. Just is what it is, really. We're going to turn around and move on to another defender. And that's going to be our next piece of news as well. The other defender we're going to be talking about, Thiago Silva. And Chelsea are becoming more and more interested in Thiago Silva as a genuine option for a short-term fix. And we've been saying we need cheaper options after signing Havertz and Chilwell. Thiago Silva fits the bill in terms of experience and leadership at a very cheap price. He's out of contract at the end of the week after the Champions League final. He plays in a high line with PSG as well, which means he won't, he won't need to assimilate too quickly. And so it will be a very similar defensive style of play, which hopefully he can join in and assimilate very quickly too. The only issue that will be there for him will be the English barrier. But he'll have Kurt Zuma hopefully next to him because I think that's going to be a great partnership. And I think for any lack of pace that Thiago Silva might have, Kurt Zuma will be able to cover for that. He'll also have N'Golo Kante in front of him, who's French speaking as well. And Azpilicueta, who prob who's most likely going to be on the right-hand side with him. And Azpilicueta does know how to speak French. He spent a good time of his career over at Marseille. So he'll have a good understanding of the French language too. Now, Ian was also saying on our live video yesterday that... Uh, international captains have to speak a certain amount of English just as a base but if that's the case then he'll have a basic understanding of English as well and defensively he'll have the players around him that will be able to communicate with and he will be great for experience he'll be great for someone like Tamori, Zuma and Christensen to learn for just for a, a year or two and he isn't going to be a long-term fix he's only going to be here for a year or two but he is exactly what we need and he's exactly the stopgap cheap option that we need. So I hope we push this deal through the door. It is up to Thiago Silva though. I think he is very interested in the Chelsea offer. But he would also rather stay at PSG if they offer him another deal. So it is all in PSG's court. If they don't do it though, I'd put money on him joining Chelsea. I'm confident in it. It's a big enough club who's ambitious enough and competing for enough trophies that he can still come and be serious. And I think he'll also take a pay cut as well because he's also interested in Fiorentina as well. And if he's genuinely serious about staying in Europe, he'd have to take a pay cut off those 300 plus a week wages because no one's taking a 36 year old on those wages, simply put, unless you go to China or unless you go to the MLS. But guys, this is the end of the Transfer Daily video. Let me know if you agree or disagree with any of the uh, comments I've made down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care. Up the Charles.